Here's another key that works well. If I go a whole tone below, this is gonna give me Dorian, flat two, flat five. It sounds a bit like the blue scale meets the Phrygian. So if I take in this key, B flat, harmonic minor, and look at how that affects the C minor, here would be a B flat harmonic minor arpeggio, B flat, D flat, F, F sharp, or G flat, A, B flat. There's my B flat harmonic minor. And by the way, I'm also using harmonic minor voicings in these different keys to represent extensions of the minor tonality as well. A harmonic minor voicing incorporates the one, major second, flat three, four, five, flat six, major seven, nine, 11, flat 13. So here, for example, would be a B flat harmonic minor voicing. I got a B flat in the bass. I can put my flat six here, major seven, minor third, five. If I put a C in the bass, then I'm interpreting or hearing that relative to the key of C and hearing this B flat harmonic minor voicing as a kind of C. Uh, you might also accomplish this goal by having someone else play a C in the bass, perhaps a bass player or a piano player, someone that you're working with. So we can now take uh, the same kind of routine that I did a, a couple of minutes ago with C Dorian and C harmonic minor. Now I'm going to take C Dorian and B flat harmonic minor. Again, the B flat harmonic minor is introducing flat nine and flat five. Here's my C Dorian. Here's my B flat harmonic minor. If I put them together, here's my C, B flat. Again, I'm trying to interpret or visualize B flat harmonic minor as an extension of C minor. So I can essentially create the, this notion of B flat harmonic minor as an extension of C minor by referencing the basic C minor tonality enough that I'm seeing them juxtaposed exactly the way I saw C Dorian and C harmonic minor juxtaposed. So C harmonic minor pulls in major seven flat six, B flat harmonic minor pulls in flat two, flat five. So. C Dorian, B flat harmonic minor. If I put them together. C Dorian, B flat harmonic. C Dorian, B flat harmonic minor. C Dorian. B flat harmonic. So again, lots of flat twos and flat nines which are built into that harmonic minor arpeggio. So you might take, for example, a basic C Dorian minor voicing for a couple of bars, and then B flat harmonic minor voicing for a couple of bars. And keep that C in the bass. This is the harmonic minor voicing that I played a little bit earlier with a flat six, major seven, minor third, five on top. That's a B flat harmonic minor, but I'm gonna put a C in the bass. So I'm going to go back and forth between this voicing. So that could be something that you could tape and put on a loop. C minor basic. Two bars each. Plenty of time to develop that. And then you're playing the Dorian. The harmonic minor whole tone below. C Dorian. B-flat harmonic minor, C Dorian, B-flat harmonic. So after a while, you really start to internalize what that flat two and flat five feel like in combination over a minor chord a whole step above. B-flat harmonic minor is giving us those two tensions. If you just play a B-flat harmonic minor arpeggio as written, one flat three, uh, flat six or five flat six major seven against a C minor whole step above those tensions are automatically built in. So here's an exercise that I tell students to do and then I'll give you a little bit more creative application of this. Uh, you can start with two very basic premises, the arpeggios of those two sounds, namely D Dorian minor, which would be D, F, A, and C, Dorian minor arpeggio, very simple. <laughs> This is gonna, which means he's gonna have a chance to play with me. We're gonna listen back. Um, so there are a number of 
I number of things we can talk about. So let's just start telling you first about um, how to function in the studio. How many people here have had a little, a little experience already recording? Anybody have a little bit? Okay. So this is personal preference, just like.